everyone so in this video I'm going to do my March monthly favorites it's always hard for me to remember what month we're in um yes so I don't have a lot especially like looking down um March wasn't the best month for me it was actually really difficult I had a lot of anxieties and a lot of my um like severe depression disorder like kicked my butt this month. Um, I don't think my medicine was working too well, but it um, wasn't very fun. However, I do have a couple things that made me happy this month or helped me at least survive it. So um, I figured I'd share those with you. If I seem a little off, I'm sorry. I'm trying to recover from this month as quickly as possible, but it's taking some time the one thing I definitely want to at least talk to you guys about was the one thing that definitely got me through this month and I actually didn't even get it till like a week ago like not even a week ago maybe like six days ago um very close to the end of the month but I love it so much it like surpasses anything else I'm going to show you today um I can't show you it's too heavy for me to lift but my husband loves me a lot he actually surprised me the other day with a weighted blanket um if you don't know what that is if you've ever seen like a down comforter blanket the ones that are like quilted like they're the little puff squares all together and they're filled with like the um down like the feathers um it's just like that except for instead of feathers it has sand in it uh, the one I have is 12 pounds. I'm not sure if they're all 12 pounds or just like the one I have is 12 pounds. Um, but that's what that is. And they help with like anxieties. Um, it works a similar way to like a thunder vest for a dog. The way it makes a dog feel like safe and um, secure because it like puts pressure around them. It does the same thing to like a person. <laughs> it applies a little bit of pressure and it kind of makes you feel more relaxed. Uh, I have been sleeping with it every night since I got it and it is the only reason I can sleep right now. Um, before that I was sleeping a couple hours a night. I couldn't fall asleep till almost five in the morning. I'd wake up at like full, at like eight, nine, something like that. Um, it was not the best. Um, with it, I sleep solidly throughout the night and I don't wake up. I don't toss and turn. It's, it's great. Um, I couldn't bring it in here though because it's 12 pounds and I can't lift that. I am a weak one. So, breathe. Um, I don't have many physical things to show you. Um, I mean the blanket is physical but I can't show you. Um, I have three things, four things to actually show you and then something to talk about. This is my YouTube notebook, but like papers just went flying everywhere. Um, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. So one thing that really helped me get through this month, and it happens a lot uh, normally when I'm going through like one of these phases, is I got really obsessed with music like this whole month, but not like a lot of music. I got obsessed with like four songs and I listened to them on repeat every day, all month. Still not sick of it, but you know. Um, I have them written down here so I wouldn't forget. Um, three of them are specific songs. One of them is the artist of one of these songs. I'm just obsessed with everything she has, but she doesn't have out too, too much. So it's not like it's like, she has like one album. So um, I was on YouTube one day and I got sucked into that like TikTok um, video wormhole thing where it's like a compilation of videos and you just kind of get lost forever. Um, it started because I found this thing. I don't know if it is TikTok or like a website or like an app like it. Website. Um, but it was this trend that was going in China where people were doing a like crown meme thing to the Billie Eilish song Crown. Um, and I watched it before I'd ever heard that song and became obsessed with that song and then looked it up and then started listening to it nonstop and still do. I can't watch the music video because I cannot handle the spider part of it but um it's a good song I like the song um so I've been obsessed with that one one of the three that has been on repeat um at the beginning of the month my best friend came over and we watched the live action Beauty and the Beast movie and the Evermore song that Beast sings um when Belle is going back to save her father from the insane asylum um is one of the best songs I've ever heard in my entire life. It's 
written, produced, I don't know, doesn't tell me what, but by um, Dan Stevens. He so is he did something with this song. He wrote it or sang it or is the mastermind behind it. I don't know, but his name is the one attached to that song and I love that song, so I will give you the credit. <laughs> I have no idea what you did for it, but I love it. Thank you so much. Um, I've been listening to that song on repeat as well. It makes me so sad, but I love it so much that I just am torn. Um, I can't stop listening to it though, so whatever. Um, and then I fell back in love with Melanie Martinez. I've been listening to her music over and over again, like nonstop. Um, she doesn't have too many songs out. She has one album and then like a couple just like EPs, so um I'll it's really easy for me to listen to her songs because I can just go on YouTube and put on one of her playlists and just like listen to all of them and they'll just shuffle themselves around um however I guess I was just like living in a hole or something um because I had never heard her song piggyback she came out with it right after all of that like craziness with um I can't even remember her name Timothy, I think, um, the girl that, like, she had all of the drama with and everything like that, that whole mess was insane, but she came out with a song right after all that happened, and I had never heard it before, and that's the third song that I've been listening to on repeat ever since. Sometimes I'll just listen to, like, her whole playlist and shuffle through, but those are, like, the three specific songs that I have I've been able to get out of my head, like, all month, um, it's helped though. Um, back to like the actual things. I haven't used this yet, but I love it. Um, I went to Ulta one day with my husband and he actually bought this for me. I was going in there to get like a new, like a refill of one of my products, forgot how expensive it is and decided no. Um, but he got me this. It is from Tarte. It's the Sugar Rush uh, Star Factor Cleansing Face Brush. It just looks like this. And I'll take it out so you can see it. But it's actually really cute. I haven't used it because I'm too afraid of ruining it to use it. Because it's so cute. I just I don't want it to not be cute anymore. But it looks like this. It's a star. This side is like rough. Scrubby. Um, like if you have the, the makeup brush pads that you cleanse your makeup brushes on. It feels like that. And then the side is really soft. Like a new makeup brush or a new paintbrush or something. So it's to clean your face. I haven't used it yet because I don't want to ruin it and it's just so aesthetically pleasing to look at. I love stars and I love pink and it's great but one day hopefully this month I will actually come and make myself use it and then I'll be able to tell you if it's actually good to use but it's definitely good to look at so there's that. Um, the other things are all pretty much shoes. Everything else is shoes. Um, but for different reasons. So one of them, I'm going to make an entire video on like unboxing and like trying on and showing you all the things. Um, but I had been stocking these shoes all month since before they came out when they were like leaked or talked about or whatever. They're from Dolls Kill. They're from their in-house brand Sugar Thrills. I'm sure if you're on Instagram, you have seen these from your favorite cutie Instagram girl. They look like this. They're so cute. They're just like platform jellies. The gel part is like a pink clear and they've got these puffy sequin hearts all over them with like a cute heart buckle. I don't want to get too into them even though I pretty much just did the whole rundown because um, I am going to film that video but had been stalking these all month. So there's those. And then the last thing is uh, shoes, two pairs. Um, but mainly they're just kind of here to explain what's happening. So like, I recently discovered that I can fit into kids shoes and I don't understand, but like, look, okay. So I was in Target and I was looking for rain boots because I'm filming this Earth Day video um, and I am a germaphobe like 100% to the core. So I don't need rain boots, but like I need rain boots. <laughs> And I wanted cute ones because it's my life and I couldn't find any because apparently cute women's rain boots are like a, not a thing or if they are they're like insanely expensive um, but I was walking around Target trying to figure out what the heck I was gonna do and I saw these and I was like those can't be women's like 
they're too cute but they look like they're my size i don't understand they look like this cute rubbery rainbowy glitteriness even the soles are glittery like look at that oh so cute um and i saw them and i was like this 100 percent looks like it'll fit my foot like i don't believe that it wouldn't so i tried it on and it totally did and i was like what and they're, they're like, they are kid shoes. They're Cat and Jack brand, which if you don't have kids or are never around kids and you probably wouldn't know that that's a kid brand, but I used to work at Target, so. Um, Cat and Jack brand, these are actually size six. Um, they 100% fit me, which was insane. And for a while I was like, maybe it's just a fluke. Like they are rain boots, they're made out of rubber. Maybe they just run big because I don't know. Um, but a couple days later I was in Walmart and I was still thinking about like the possibility of kids shoes and I couldn't let it go. So I went in the kids shoes section at Walmart and I found another pair of shoes also in a kid size six also fit me like perfectly. I wear a women's size nine. I wear anywhere from a nine to a 10 depending on what the shoe is. Like if it's a heel, it's normally almost closer to a 10 because heels are on small, but I found these. These are amazing. Uh, they look like this. Let's do one, shall we? It looks like this. Just this cute, like, iridescent sparkliness. The inside is lavender, also a kid size six. Even the underside has, like, a unicorn and, like, sparkles carved into it. Um, I don't understand how this is possible, but I was really excited to see these. I tried them on, they fit, fit perfectly, but these look just like a pair of YRU shoes that I was going to order online that were $125 because they were platform shoes, but they look just like this. And this was the part that I wanted. I don't want platforms. I'm, I'm like 5'8". I'm tall enough. I don't need the platform part. Um, but most companies, I think, just kind of feel like if you're going weird with the cute shoe, then you might as go, well, go like all the way weird with like a cute shoe platform kind of thing. I mentioned it in my Dolls Kill Boot unboxing. I don't need platform shoes, I'm tall enough. That entire video I was talking about how I wanna figure out if I can get the platform cut off to a normal size. So that, the fact that I can fit in kid shoes has like blown my mind because it opens up a whole new door for me. If you do not think that every shoe from now on that I get for the most part is gonna be kid shoe, you're totally wrong. Even my tennis shoes are probably gonna be kid shoes because kid tennis shoes light up and they have glitter on them and they're amazing. Like, who wouldn't want that? That's amazing. <sighs> this may have been a rough month, but I did have some silver linings going on. Like the fact that I can apparently wear kid shoes was a big revelation. So that was it for this video. I'm sorry. I know it's all over the place and I'm, I kind of feel off still, but I'm trying to get back to it. Um, I'm hoping that if I start filming again, because I've been putting filming off most of the month because I wasn't feeling into it. But I'm hoping if I like make myself film, it'll make me feel more normal and like get back to being happier again and everything like that. So anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.